Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use Scenario Manager in Excel. Here I have the sales quantity which is 100. I have the price per unit, the fixed cost and the variable cost per unit. So using these four variables I can calculate the overall profit. To do that I would multiply sales quantity by the price per unit and I would subtract fixed cost and variable cost which would again be multiplied by the sales quantity because this is per unit cost. So if you go here to profit and if you click F2 to get into the edit mode you would see this is B2 multiplied by B3 sales multiplied by price minus the fixed cost minus the variable cost which is again 20 multiplied by 100. So this as of now gives us the profit as 2800. Now it is alright if you want to change one or two variables and see how it impacts the profitability but if you want to create scenarios where you are trying to see how your different scenarios can look like when your sales quantity changes or when your price per unit changes then you can use a scenario manager. To do that go to data and here come to what if analysis and within this select scenario manager. Now scenario manager is a better version of uh, one or two variable data table because it can handle more than uh, three or three or more than three variables changing at the same time. So here for example say I want to check it for three scenarios I would choose the worst scenario, a realistic scenario and the best possible scenario. So to add the scenario I would click on the add button and here I would give a name to it. So let's say I give the name worst case. In this case I would be changing these three cells which would be so I would select this and I would change these three cells which is uh, which is sales quantity price per unit and variable cost per unit fixed cost would remain the same so I've selected these three cells if you have more cells then you can select them as well and here you can put in any comment I'm not putting any comment and I'll leave this part as it is and I would click OK and as soon as I click OK opens the scenario values dialog box where I would have to specify these values. In this case you can see that it says B2, B3 and B5 which are the variables that we have selected and this is not very descriptive if you want you can name these cells and then those names would appear here. If you have more than three or four variables then you also get a scroll bar here so that in case you have more values you can scroll and put those values. In this case which is worst case scenario let me say the sales would not be uh, 100 it will be 50 and uh, B3 which is price per unit would be 30 and uh, the variable cost say may go up to 30 again. So now when I click OK it adds the worst case scenario and if you want to see how the worst case scenario would look here simply double click on it. And as soon as you double click you can see that these values would change. The sales quantity becomes 50, price per unit is 30 and variable cost again is 30. So here I am making a loss of 200 uh, whatever unit it is, it, 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 the right, it's dollar or pound or whatever it is. I am as of now making a loss of 200. I can add more scenarios. So let me say I would add realistic and here again the sales remains the same. I would click OK and I would give the original values which I had here earlier the price would be 50 and the variable cost would be 20 and I would click on OK. Now let me show you something else uh, I would name these cells so in this case let me say I name it sales uh, underscore quantity I would name this as price and I would name this as variable underscore cost. Now when I again go to data what if analysis and I select scenario manager and now when I click on add I would give the name as best case and here I have these three cells selected as soon as I click on OK you can see that now instead of the cell references I have these cell names so if you have a lot of cells here or you have the cells which are dispersed across your sheet then you can use this technique of naming these cells and you would have these names appear here in this case let me give the best possible scenario which is 150 the price would be say 60 and the variable cost would be 20. 
and I would click OK. Now I have these three scenarios here. You can instantly see how these scenarios would affect the profit by double clicking on each of these. So if I double click on worst case, it gives me minus 200 if I click on realistic it gives me 2800 and if I click on best case it gives me 5800 because these values would change now this is a very simple case where I've only taken three scenarios but you may have a lot of scenarios or your data may not be this simple in that case you may want to generate a summary out of it uh, to see how these scenarios would look maybe you have to present it to your management and you want them to analyze each scenario and then opt for the best possible way then you can simply create a summary by clicking on this button which is summary here and as soon as you click on summary it asks for two options either you can have the scenario summary or you can have the scenario pivot table report I'll show you how this works in this case you would have to select the cell on which you are checking the impact so in this case I am selecting B6 because I'm looking for the value change in profit when I change these different variables and I would first have the scenario summary clicked and I, as soon as I click OK it creates a new tab scenario summary and I have all these values and all these scenarios here uh, this formatting is all pre-populated it will it is a preset format that Excel uses and you will see this summary along with all these scenarios and the variables so in this case we had these three variables and these are the three possible scenarios and you can see that um, anyone who's looking at it would be able to then appropriately choose the scenario that that matches their situation well similarly if I go here again go to scenario manager and I go to summary it also gives me the option to create a pivot table report and in this case again B6 is selected and as soon as I click OK it creates a scenario pivot table tab and here I have this pivot table automatically selected everything the pivot table task pane everything is generated automatically where I can see that in the best case my profit which is cell B6 would be 5800 in realistic it would be 2800 and in worst case it would be minus 200 in this case it says B6 had I named the cell as profit it would have said profit so this is how you can quickly create various summaries various scenarios and then using those scenarios you can instantly generate a summary report that you can present and you can then identify the best possible scenario so this is how you can use scenario manager in Excel I hope you found this video useful thank you and have a nice day